in relation to the uh, music industry, and you made the point regarding the €480 Euro threshold, that that's a, a rolling threshold over uh, a previous four-week period. Um, I think that needs to be looked at again. Uh, I think there needs to be an average over the uh, payment of the pandemic unemployment payment rather than over a four-week period, because some uh, entertainers uh, may get uh, commissioning work uh, or artists and, and may get paid €500 Euro for that. They have to automatically refuse that. Or they may get payment in two separate calendar months, but happen to be within the four-week period. And again, they're discriminated in relation to that. So I think the most sensible approach to take in relation to this is that that uh, a 480 euro average would be over the period of the payment of, of their pandemic unemployment payment. And I think that would be a far better vehicle in helping those particular people get back into full-time employment, which is the primary objective behind that uh, particular flexibility. On the music industry point about the person who might be offered 500 euro work, the way the 400 euro, 480 limit works is over four year, four weeks on pub. In other words, the 480 limit is what you can earn and still get pub. If somebody is earning, has a job uh, that's worth 500 euro, then they really should be back in employment for that week. You know, that, that's something that, uh, you know, strictly speaking, when you look at the legislation, if you're self-employed on pub, you should be available for full-time work. Somebody doing 500 euros worth of work is, is unlikely to satisfy that. So the best thing for that person may be to sign off pub for that week. Uh, the averaging will apply over the duration on pub. So we are trying to be flexible. At the same time, if somebody is consistently earning above the 480 limit, they may look at the part-time job incentive, which allows you to work 24 hours and keep a payment of 128 euro. But I'm mindful that when we're talking about these uh, these thresholds, they exist across social welfare schemes. For example, disability allowance is 120 euro and increasing to 140 euro next year. If you look at the job seeker claims, it's roughly 20 euro a day. So it's consistent with the overall approach that's there. But for somebody who is going, if you like, in a pattern of having work every now and again, the, the best option for them may be to, to uh, sign off when they're working and to go on to pub when they're not working, uh, you know, as opposed to trying to squeeze the 500 euro under the 480 limit. Uh, 